What's up? It's George the Fragrance Apprentice. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Last month, in March, I talked about fragrances for teenagers. This month, we're going to where I am, which is my 20s. And admittedly, my late 20s, but 20s nevertheless. Now, what this video series ultimately is, is just a guide. Helpful guide for newcomers into the fragrance community who are thinking to themselves, I don't know what to wear. I don't know where to go, what's some advice, what are some good options. Ultimately, you can wear whatever the hell you want to wear. It's as simple as that. You can wear, as I do, very, very old school, outlandish fragrances that smell as though they should be in, you know, somebody in their 50s, their 60s. I love those kinds of scents. I also love wearing very, very young, very juvenile fragrances such as Tim, Tommy uh, Hilfiger Cologne, uh, Love and Luck by Ed Hardy is still admittedly one of my favourites to this day. It doesn't matter. I have respect for mostly all types of fragrances, uh, any, any price bracket, any age bracket, that's my, that's my whole purpose. I see a lot of people being snobs and going, oh George, why do you like Ferragamo Wamo? It's so high schooly because I'm a fan of fragrance. People sometimes say to me, oh, George, why do you like Linstand de Guerlain Eau Extreme? That is such an old man fragrance because I'm a fan of fragrance. I live this, I love this, I have over 200 bottles. That's the gig. That is my gig. So ultimately, wear what you want to wear, but if you really don't know where, where to start, you don't know really the, the basis, and you're in your 20s, here are 10 excellent suggestions for men such as yourself who might be in their 20s. I'm going to give two honourable mentions because I would be lynched without talking about these two. Have you heard of these two? <laughs> this one's con called One Million by Paco Rabanne. This is La Malle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. They are titans. They are goliaths within the fragrance industry. Two of the highest selling fragrances of all time ever still celebrated to this day. They're amazing. One million, of course, a bubblegum, poppy, fruity fragrance with tonka and leather, and just absolutely crazy. And this, although it has been reformulated, is still a great little fragrance to wear with a lot more sweetness now. It has a lot less of that earthy lavender that it used to have back in the 90s, but it's a great fragrance to wear in your 20s. It's clean, it's crisp, and it's still a good amount of fun. But let's get on to the actual list now. Number 10 is actually in the same vein as those two. It's an incredible top seller, wonderful fragrance. It's from the House of Eve Saint Laurent. It is Le Nuit de Lom, EDT. I think this is a fantastic night out fragrance to, uh, well, fragrance to wear on nights out. It's got that cardamom, it's got that sexy chocolate and vanilla. It's loved and adored throughout the fragrance uh, industry and throughout the YouTube fragrance community. It is great for when you're hitting your stride in your 20s and especially in your early 20s, this could be your ultimate first night out fragrance or proper out on the town uh, fragrance. It's a fragrance that I wore in my early 20s until I moved on to the Le Parfum edition, but it's still a great fragrance to have. But going into your late 20s, such as myself, you might want to go for something a little bit more robust, something a little bit edgier, something that's a little bit more in the now. And that for me, when I'm talking about night out fragrances, would have to be Hugo Boss, The Scent Absolute. Yes, yes, George, we've heard you talk about this one. We know how much you love it. But this is a fragrance that I feel is really indicative to my age bracket, 26, 27, 28, 29, where it's definitely young, it's definitely, definitely youthful, but it's got a bit of an edge to it. It's got a bit of a maturity to it. It's got a real depth. And that, I think, is the vetiver that's in here that cleans it up, just gives it an extra swish of polish, whilst also unmistakably smelling very, very modern and very, very designer. Number eight, let's up the ante even more. We're continuing with night out fragrances. We've talked about Le Nuit de Lom. We've talked about um, the scent Absolute. 
but let's really, really go for the creme de la creme of night out fragrances. This is a niche fragrance. I think there's only four niche fragrances in this list. I still wanted to be careful, you know, I wanted to give you a good run for your money with designers, but this would be my niche pick for night out fragrances if you really, really want to be on top of your game. It's Parfums de Mali Herod. A bombastic powerhouse of a fragrance with notes of cinnamon, pepper and vanilla but I also get honestly hazelnut that's the big thing that I get from this I get Kinder Bueno I get Nutella from this it's quite a beautiful experience and very very fun perfumed by the same gentleman who did one million you can see that there's definitely elements and mirroring of that DNA especially with the sexy spicy cinnamon in this one it's loud it's proud it's powerful and it smells bloody good and gets you some solid attention. With some of that Nutella hazelnut thing that I'm talking about, you definitely get that fun, youthful vibe from it, and it's just an absolute rock star of a scent. Number seven, let's calm down. Let's stay in the genre of those sweet gourmand-like fragrances, but let's make it a little bit more casual. What's a great autumn, winter, casual fragrance for when you're in your 20s? Well, look no further than Angel Men Pure. Tonka. This is the sort of the culmination, or at least the designer culmination, of a genre that was very, very popular, and that is coffee and lavender. You see that with Michael Jordan Legend, you see that with Rochas Man, and you see that with New Harlem which unfortunately, sadly, has been discontinued. But I have my favourites in that genre, but truly this is the best when it comes to designer, casual, lavender and coffee scent really really amazing really great for first dates really great in colder weather and it still stood the test of time and it is still readily available online we've done the autumn and the winter fragrances there let's move over now to spring and summer my favorite period for wearing fragrance and we're going to start with a bang this is from the house of Rainier perfumes this is oud rain Oud Rain is quickly becoming now my favourite Rainier. I adored and loved Kisses Rain, but I have seen the light. And this, with its Oud and Mango combination with some really, really resinous woods, cedarwood in particular, is really quite something. It's got a lot of designer um, aroma chemicals i smell black wood i smell a little peppering of isoe super in here it's got quite a lot going for it but that mango is the thing that really brings it up a level and to a more niche standard a more niche quality the mango the mango is not just the the fruit it's everything it's the way that you cut into the mango and there's that salty spray that comes out of it it's the water and the oxygen that comes out of the mango it's all of the different textures and all of the different multi layers of mango going into this which makes it such an, a unique and incredible experience this ain't no angel o crosshair this ain't no le beau this is a real real tropical attention to detail mango that's in here along with all of those designer elements that makes it a lot more wearable and a lot more casual and with that fantastic oud that's in there this is an incredibly playful fruity and jovial fragrance that is a lot of fun to wear in your mid to late 20s especially in spring and summertime number five Aqua de Gio Profumo. The aquatic elements are only beautifully mirrored by the rosemary, the thyme, very, very herbal elements. Now, I love baking. If you see my Instagram story, you'll know that. And I love making food catches. So, trust me, I know what rosemary and thyme smell like. But to put that into a marine sea salty fragrance, it sounds on paper a bit odd. But it's truly exhilarating. 
very beautiful, very sexy, and it creates a very, very nice woody musk that is very alluring and very, very attractive. So in your 20s, this is a confidence booster. This is something that is great to wear around other people, and it just sets the tone, especially in spring and summertime. Number four is going to be an intriguing one. It's going to be a very interesting one. It's actually my scent of the day today. It's Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. I usually talk about the Parfum, which is my favourite, and that really works on my skin. But I would recommend for people in their 20s regularly the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum doesn't do as well on me, which is upsetting because it does really, really well on my friends. Smells fantastic on my friends. On me, it's pleasant, it's okay, but it's actually comparatively lacklustre to how this smells on other people. That is a thing with my skin chemistry. It is not a statement about, about Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. The writing has been on the wall when I've smelt it on other people and gone, why does that not smell as good on me? But it's a rare occurrence, and it is a phenomenally brilliant and lovely fragrance. It smells fruity, zesty, and it has a bit of that incense that creates depth. It doesn't go as far as Parfum, but I think that Parfum is actually a lot, uh, a lot more older. I think it's a lot more mature, and hey, that's how I get away w- with wearing it and why it suits me so much. At least I'll keep telling myself that. But for you, you're just a gentleman, regular gentleman in your 20s, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum is probably the strongest overall competitor of the Bleu de Chanel bunch. Getting into the top three here, I'll waste no time. Mont Blanc Explorer. Where is that thing? There it is. Mont Blanc Explorer. If you're in your 20s and you want compliments and you want some good attention and you just want to smell sexy and clean and just really solid and amazing, this has been... I mean, it's just unprecedented. It's absolutely incredible, the amount of attention that you can get from this. Aventus has that... Uh, ability also, but I don't want you to take out a mortgage to buy a fragrance that you can get probably for a much better price with Mont Blanc Explorer. I've got a bit of a thing about Aventus at the moment, um, as you probably saw with my Is It Still Good? And yes, I would recommend this over Aventus at this point in the game. But it's fruity, has that really lovely citrusy Uh, element and it just creates a beautiful balance that is very very alluring and very attractive to people and people can be moths like moths to a flame with um, Mont Blanc Explorer just a huge amount of attention that you can get from it more so than probably any of the other fragrances in this list and we haven't even got to number one yet number two (laughs) is uh, I'm so predictable it's Chanel Laurent Sport yeah I just think to this day it's amazing and brilliant and uh, absolutely wonderful. I talked about this recently on my um, 10 fragrances that got critical acclaim. You can hear all about that. And one of the great things about Alorum Sport is that its popularity did decline, but its quality didn't. It didn't decline in popularity because it was a bad fragrance. It's because ultimately One Million and other fragrances like One Million came out and it just shifted the zeitgeist of what people wanted out of fragrance. But you can buy this right now and you will smell amazing, and it actually works in people's favour that it isn't as known as much as it once was. It makes it so that you actually smell somewhat unique. Alorum Sport, I can assure you, is still as amazing, if not more so, in this world of perfumery. It is still as fun to wear and fun to enjoy smelling on somebody as the day that it came out. But what is my number one recommendation for a gentleman in his 20s? It's got to be reasonably priced. Um, That's what I'd say. It's got to be something that is easy to wear, that is fun, and it has a mixture of youth, youthful energy, but it also has um, a groundedness, a gravitas to it that makes it not smell like you're a teenager and you're, you know, wearing preposterously overly sweet or overly overly silly things. It has to have some optimism, um, but it has to have some freshness, and it has to be enjoyable to wear and incredibly enjoyable to smell. And it has to get compliments and, you know, just all that good stuff. So the main thing here is balance. It has to have a good, solid balance and all of the other things, and just very solid. And I switched and swapped a lot of fragrances in this list. It took me actually a week to compile this list because the number one kept changing and the number one was difficult. 
because there's a lot of good fragrances here. But I made my decision, and I think that it's the right decision. And for those of you who are fans of it, then I think that you'll completely agree. And I have talked about it quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot. But yeah, this is my number one recommendation to a, a man in his 20s who wants to get into fragrance and wants to wear something that's good and solid. I would actually say Hugo Boss Bottled Tonic. I did a review on this with Dave, but I need to re-review it. My thoughts and feelings have changed on this so much as the years have gone by. This went from a fragrance that I thought was pretty bloody good to, wow, this is now becoming a real staple in my collection. So much so that in a video that I did last week, of the 10 designer fragrances that I would want to keep for the rest of my life and toss the rest of my collection out, this did pretty well in that list. So I think I'm going to have to re-review it, and I think I'm going to have to re-review it pretty bloody soon. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this list you got some ideas especially for gentlemen in their 20s and if you did enjoy this content please consider giving me a subscription so you can follow my regular fragrance video uploads of which i am doing every single day right now anyway until i see you tomorrow i'm the fragrance sprays goodbye the sound.